What's going on everybody? Jess James West here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video is going to be a little different as it's going to be more of a sit down talking video. I'm going to be going over a really important topic, something that's really hits home for me as well as a lot of you guys out there. This is a message for all parents, all athletes, and all people. Today we're going to be talking about the mental health of student athletes and how student athletes are struggling more than they ever have. So we're gonna break this down into some statistics, some experiences of my own along with other people that have been pushed way too far, and then we're gonna just kinda wrap it all up and leave you with some tips on how to make things a little bit better for yourself. So I know a lot of you guys are athletes or you guys are parents and you have children that are athletes, so I know you guys can relate to this heavily. So I really wanted to voice this opinion and make it a really public thing that you guys can share with your friends so people know that they're not alone, people know that there's you know a, a bright light at the end of every tunnel, even no matter how dark it is. You know, I've been through some really hard times. I used to play at Lehigh, which is a division one lacrosse school. And I would say that I was at my worst, mentally speaking. This topic really hits home to me and it, it's a pretty emotional topic. I feel like I've been through a lot because of it. So I know you guys can really relate to this because I know I'm not alone. I know there's a lot of you guys out there, so. Let's get into some statistics, starting off with one from Psychology Today. 50% of student athletes struggle with anxiety and 25% of student athletes struggle with depression. Now, to put that into like relation to sports, that's 44 football players have anxiety on a team. And then for lacrosse team, that's 22 players if, you know, on average, there's a 44 man roster. So obviously that's half the team, that's a lot of people. If anything, there's more people that have anxiety because anxiety is extremely common when you're under pressure and you know, you're constantly having to perform for the program and look a certain way and you know, push past these mental barriers and it's really tough as an athlete to be able to, you know, get through all four years of college athletics and to say that you didn't have anxiety is a little ridiculous. So I just want to kind of bring that into, into light. For depression, that's 11 lacrosse players and that's 22 football players, which is a lot of people. And depression can be, you know, as much as just a little, little depressed to really depressed where you're actually thinking bad things and suicidal thoughts. And that's obviously what you not want. You want to avoid this. So biggest thing I'm going to say right now is that if you know someone or you, you have a kid and you're seeing these signs of depression, you can Google them and you'll literally be able to hopefully figure out that either your child or friend is depressed a little bit or depressed a lot. And you guys can kind of, you know, troubleshoot these problems and, you know, help them out. Be a good teammate, be a good friend, be there for someone. Now, the biggest thing about these statistics is that a lot of college coaches, I feel they don't address it enough. They don't talk about it enough. Sports programs kind of just look past this because, you know, as an athlete, you have to, like I said, you have to perform perfect all the time. You have to push past these mental barriers that the coaches put on you to get better and get stronger. But sometimes people just get pushed to the edge. I was one of them that got pushed to the edge and I literally left Division One lacrosse because I just could not take it anymore. It was not the right thing for me. That doesn't mean it's not the right thing for you. That's not to deter you from any college athletics. This is literally just to kind of raise some awareness and let you guys know. So moving on, I wanted to talk about how there are people out there that were pushed way too far and unfortunately took their own life. This is something that kind of makes me emotional and like really, it scares the out of me, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was at Lehigh, I'll, I'll give you a little story about it. I was at Lehigh and all athletes had to go to a specific meeting about this one girl who committed suicide and she was a student athlete. This is not something that you push through. This is something that can lead to something really bad. And unfortunately for this girl, her name's Madison Holleran. She was 19 and she ran track at UPenn. She took her own life by leaping off of a parking garage, which is just so sad to hear about and so sad to even think that someone my age took their own life because of the things that everyone has felt. But obviously she, you know, feel bad for her because she felt it way worse than most people. And for any of you that are going through depression or have anxiety and you're an athlete, even if you're not an athlete, go get help. Don't be ashamed. Too many people attach this stigma brutal stigma to anxiety and depression that if you have these things, you're mentally weak, you, um, are, you, you're judged more than ever, and it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, literally everyone has anxiety at some point or another. Literally everyone has been depressed at some point or another. So why the hell are we judging people that talk about it and they're like, oh, well, I have anxiety, oh, well, we're judging you. No, that's ridiculous. As a society, we need to take away that stigma and discuss these issues because if we don't, more and more people are gonna be either taking their lives or just miserable through their college, life, anything. And it just, it's terrible to see these people have to go through these things. And you know, relating to that, like, 
Like I relate to those people heavily because I've been there. Like I've been at such a low where I thought the world was literally ending. I thought there was nothing, no hope for me and I was just fucked. And it, crazy man, like to think that someone literally took her, their life. Like it's, it's hard to even like fathom in my head like that, that happened. So I, I don't bring that up to make you depressed about this situation. I don't, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to make things seem terrible as a student athlete because honestly, being a student athlete can be seriously awesome. If you haven't seen my game day vlogs, this isn't me like plugging it in. I'm literally saying like, if you check them out, like that's real emotion. That's me having a blast with my teammates. Like it's so much fun and it's so rewarding. But then like a majority of it is really mentally and physically taxing, but it's specifically it takes a toll on the mind. If you, if you know that you're not gonna get through division one, like I knew it going in, I, I knew it, that, I, that it was not for me, but I wanted to try it. I understand a lot of you are like that too, but you know, the smartest thing for me would have been to decommit going into, going into college and go play D3 ball. You know, with that being said, I made a great choice leaving Division One lacrosse. If you guys haven't seen why I left Division One lacrosse, I mean, obviously you can tell from this video, but if you want a more in-depth experience of like right when it was happening, check out the link um, in the description or just go to my video. In, it's called why I stopped playing Division One lacrosse. And you know, that was just the brutal truth. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to just be very truthful with you guys right now, because this is a sensitive topic that a lot of athletes can relate to. So what I really want you guys to take away from all this is that if you or, you, or someone that you love or someone that you know, or honestly, if you don't even know them, you're not barely friends, but you know they're going through something, don't be afraid to reach out. They're gonna appreciate that. Like, don't be afraid to say, how are you actually doing? Not how are you doing good, like, oh, I'm good too, thanks. Like, genuinely asking how you're doing. Those are constructive things that can change someone, literally that could change someone's life. So my biggest thing is just talk to people. And with all that being said, let's take away this stigma behind mental health and discussing it. You know, everyone has mental health issues, everyone has different mental health conditions. Let's not let it be a judgment zone. Let's let it be a judgment-free zone where everyone can talk about it and it's normal to talk about because everyone goes through it and it should be normal to talk about. Of athletics preaches where there's a will, there's a way. The best don't rest unless you puke, faint, or die, keep going. Mental illness is associated with weakness. To appear weak is the last thing an athlete wants. So in summary, make sure you guys are looking out for each other, being a great teammate. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself and look out for yourself when it comes to picking a school to go to or if you're already out of school and you don't feel like you're in the right place, there's other options and you don't have to you don't have to be miserable. College sports are supposed to be an amazing experience, so make the best of it and make sure you're at the right place. For me, that was that was to leave Division One lacrosse and go play Division Three, and I'm having a much better experience. Yeah, I still struggle with anxiety and depression, you know, every here and there, but I know how to get around it and I know how to I know how to deal with it. I talk to my friends literally for hours on end and they help me so much. Never be afraid to talk about it. Don't feel don't feel weak. You're not weak. I guarantee that you're probably one of the stronger people. If you're courageous enough to talk about it, you got something else a lot of people don't have. So that's gonna wrap up everything, guys. If you watched this whole entire thing and took something away from it, I really, really appreciate it. This is an important video for myself, along for some, a lot of people out there. I really wanted to voice my opinion on this and kind of spread spread the love and spread you know the knowledge that I've gained over going through this myself, and you know share it with you guys. So. Make sure you guys share this video to your friends just because I think this is a, a must watch video for parents, players, coaches, everyone. College lacrosse, college sports are really tough, but they're also really, really rewarding. So this isn't a video to hate on college sports at all. This is just to tell you that you gotta make sure you're in the right place so you don't have to experience these bad things because it happens to a lot of people. That's about it guys. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe down below for weekly videos. Follow me on Instagram at Jess James West. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.